Hello viewers today we talk about snake venom is a bone in search for life saving drugs let's start over the summer chicago based cardiologist dr sandeep nathan received a phone calls that a patient was in trouble every minute that went by put the patient more at risk in his mind 30 second he was suffering from a massive heart attack with excessive blood clotting in the vessels around his heart He had also tested positive for COVID-19. Several studies have shown that coronavirus impact more than just the lungs and respiratory system, including the heart. There is an acute inflammatory response, increased blood clotting and cardiac involvement. Cardiologist Dr. Neka Gulbag, medical director of New York University Women's Heart Program, previously told CNN Health Gulbag is also a senior advisor for women's health strategy at NYU Langone Health before beginning a procedure to clear the vessels and put in stents Nathan and his team administered blood thinners including integralin to help break up the clot The US Food and Drug Administration first approved integralin in 1998 and medical professionals commonly prescribe it to heart attack patients but what many people don't realize is the drug was originally derived from a protein found in the venom of pygmy rattlesnake several hundred thousand heart attacks occur in the united states every year and a significant proportion of these heart attacks are treated with agents which unbeck knows to both the physicians and patients are actually derived from a nine venom said Nathan director of the University of Chicago Medicine Coronary Care Unit and co-director of its cardiac catheterization lab there's a bit of micro conception that drug development particularly with anti platelets or anticoagulants is now past that we have discovered everything that we need to know he added in my opinion nothing could be further from the truth awfully a decade ago nathan received a call from biomedical scientist zoltan tekex who expressed they had a mutual interest we were approaching venom derived compound from two very different vantage points nathan remembered tekex telling him he wanted to discuss possibilities for academy collaboration and education while nathan administration the venom drive drug to his patient tekax is on an other end of the process fighting the original source the in the field the venomous creature themselves what make these creatures like a gold mine for medicine is actually the deadlines tekax recently told cnn dr sanjay gupta toxins he added have been weak by nature to take a life with utmost efficiency the aim critical part of the body like the nervous function and the blood circulation those are the system which you have to take under control in order to treat many different types of disease while the pandemic has slowed his usually hectic travel schedule tag said he has visited more than 190 countries in his lifetime so far his work continues through his parents in the field and in the lab He is the co-inventor of the World Toxin Bank, the founder of Toxin Tech, a biotech startup that houses a laboratory of designer toxins available to research studying drug development. So that is enough for this video. Please subscribe my channel and press bell icons for more updating videos. Thank you.